Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today we're making simple Japanese Padka Pro. You know, Padka Pro is originally from Thai and is super popular here in Japan, especially in summer. Today, I arranged the recipe in a pretty simple, easy Japanese way. So why don't you give it a try? And after you learn this simple basic recipe, you can add anything you want. Alright, let's get started! Well, the ingredients for simple Japanese cup row are only four. Number one is an egg. We'll use it to make a sunny side up. Number two is a clove of garlic. I'll use a garlic crusher today so that we don't need to use any knives. Number three is ground meat. Today I'll use about 200 grams of pork and beef mixed one, but I believe it will be good if you use chicken one as well. Number four, last but not least, are perilla leaves. If you got fresh basil, it will be far better, but in Japan, perilla leaves are pretty easier to get. So I use about three leaves this time. We we'll tear the leaves with our hands, so again, we don't need to use any knives. Plus, you need a teaspoon of dobanja, a bit of salt and pepper, and a bit of fish sauce to season. Well, we got three steps to make the simple Japanese pad cup roll. Step number one is to make the sunny side up. Pour oil into the heated frying pan. I believe you need a bit more oil than a usual pan fry. Make sunny side up with the lid on. After you make the egg, set it aside and just go on to step two. Step two is to add in a crushed garlic in the pan. I believe you don't have to add more oil in it. It's soon to get nice and brown, so when it goes like that, just heat the ground meat as well. Give it a nice toss and when it gets nice and brown, add in one teaspoon of doban jam and a bit of salt and pepper. Then go on to the last step. Just tear the pellet leaves into bite-sized pieces with your hands. Remove the stems and add the leaves into the pan. After you heat it and give it a nice toss, add in some fish salt to give it a nice flavor to it. On the warm rice, lay the ground meat and pellet leaves mix plus put on the sunny side up as well. That's it! Pretty easy, isn't it? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? But before you go on to step one, I recommend you to prepare the garlic and pella leaf. You know, press the garlic with a plate and you make it easy to peel the skin. After you peel the skin, give it a nice rinse, cut the stem end with kitchen scissors and leave it. And do the same thing to the pella leaves. Remove the stem end with the kitchen scissors, give it a nice rinse to it, then pat dry it with a paper towel. Yeah. And the paper towel for the plate. Yeah, it's perfect. And yeah, tear them with your hands. Okay, that's it. Now the uh, garlic and pita leaves are ready now. So why don't we go on to step one? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Step one is to make sunny side up. When the pan is heated, add in oil a bit more than your usual stir fry. Yeah, it's like that. And then make. Then you make it sunny side up. You should put the lid on. Okay. Right well, now, two, three minutes has passed, so why don't we take a look at the egg? Yeah, it's ready now. So, why don't you take it out of the pan and go to step two? Yeah, step two is to heat the garlic, crushed garlic. Yeah, crush the garlic with the crusher like this. Yeah. Well, the pan is well heated, so it's easy to get burned. So just be careful not to burn it. Yeah, when it's get nice and brown, heat the ground meat as well. Well, when it gets nice and brown like this. Why don't you add in some dobanja, one teaspoon of dobanja, plus a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, looks nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks awesome. So why don't you go to the last step? Add in 
the family. You get a nice sauce and add some fish sauce in it. We don't have fish sauce in your house. Ordinary normal soy sauce would be nice. It's gonna make it more Japanese. Yeah, it's definitely. Well, I believe now it's time to play the Fazda Pro. Simple Fazda Pro Japanese style. Yeah, it looks nice. When I warm rice like this, uh, play the ground meat and pepper leaves mix. Yeah, like this. Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, it looks great. Wow. Yeah, after you play the ground meat and pepper leaves mix, then put the uh, inside up. Yeah, here you go. Now it's a Japanese style. Simple pad GoPro is ready to go. Yeah. Alright, now you know to make homemade pad GoPro Japanese simple style in that hard than you think. So why don't you give it a try at your home? If you have some comments or questions, leave them down below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato! Take good care! Bye!